it's quite literally been a year since Across the Spider-Verse released, and we finally got more Funko Pops, including two new characters. Funko did announce a new wave of Across the Spider-Verse Tops, and I just so happened to get all four of them. Here they are in all of their beautiful glory. And again, we did get two new characters, Mayday Parker and Miles G. Morales. If you don't know, these Pops aren't actually out yet. Funko announced them July 10th. And they aren't supposed to really come out until August, possibly September. Even Entertainment Earth has a September release date on their website. I want to unbox all of these for you and show you some of the close-up details. Let's start with the Unmasked Spider-Man 2099. Since they gave us another Spider-Man 2099, I will say I love the angry facial expression with the red eyes and the fact that they gave this pop a mouth. Not many Funko Pops get a mouth. So that does make this one unique. I definitely feel like this Spider-Man 2099 was a little unnecessary. We do already have two variations from Across the Spider-Verse, but I won't complain about another Spider-Man pop, of course. Next, let's take a look at one of our new characters that we got, which is Mayday Parker, her very first solo pop. This Mayday Parker is definitely the cutest pop that I have in my collection now. I love the attention to detail, especially with the little hat that she's wearing and the fact that they made her hanging upside down was a very great choice. And she only has one sock and you can see her little toes on the other foot. Funko nailed this one, great job. Now this next one's not a new character, but I think I speak for everyone when I say we all wanted Hobie Brown Unmasked, AKA Spider-Punk. Funko nailed every single piercing that Spider-Punk has, and the attention to detail on his outfit is amazing. But I will say my favorite part is how they did keep that unique across the Spider-Verse animation style by adding that little bit of orange and red around his guitar and the blue streaks in his hair. And our last new character is Miles G. Morales. And actually, this is a version of Miles. If you've seen the movie, you know Ah, it's been a year, whatever. This is like the evil version from the other dimension that Miles was in, in the Prowler suit. But let me know in the comments, do you count this as a new character? Now, this might have been the most highly anticipated Funko Pop from across the Spider-Verse. Well, at least for me personally, but I have three words for you about this pop. Detail, detail, detail. Funko nailed every detail from the braids in his hair, the details on his outfit, the details on his mask. Details. I personally love the new wave of Across the Spider-Verse Pops, and I really hope in the future we get some exclusives of other new characters. Maybe like Spider-Rex, Spider-Cowboy, and I know a lot of you want to see Spider-Cat as an independent Funko Pop. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and until next time, I'm out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, before you go, be sure to subscribe. The next video I post, I'll be in San Diego Comic-Con, and I promise you don't want to miss that.